Let's look at Ozone 6's new Dynamic EQ module. The new Dynamic EQ module is fairly easy to understand if you're familiar with equalization and compression, as it's really a combination of the two. EQ adjustments are set up in exactly the same way as the equalizer module, and all of the same EQ and filter types are on offer. Unlike the normal EQ module, there's a threshold control to the right of the EQ controls. When a band's frequency exceeds this threshold value, the EQ's effect is triggered. A bit like a multiband compressor, except with the precise frequency shaping of traditional EQ. Attack and release settings determine how quickly the EQ boost or cut is triggered and subsequently returned to Unity. And auto scale will automatically scale these two parameters in relation to the band's frequency. By default, a band of dynamic EQ will pull down that frequency area like a multiband compressor. When inverse mode is activated, an EQ boost or cut will act like an expander. The gain reduction will only be triggered fully when the desired frequency content is not present in that area. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android and in print.